Hi, I'm Olivia and today's video is all about natural audition makeup. It's a tutorial for film and TV auditions. So if you've got an on-camera audition coming up or a self-tape or even a meeting with an agent, this is the video for you. I do not like wearing foundation. I find it's too cakey. So I've been experimenting right now with tinted sunscreen. So I'm going to go with it. We want to make sure this is really rubbed in. I like to go along my hairline. Got to get all the spots. I also shoot in front of a ton of natural light, so having that SPF is gonna help me out. I'm a big believer in sunscreen, so yes, wear it every single day, even if you don't leave the house. After I let my sunscreen dry for about 15 to 30 seconds, I grab my Bobbi Brown under eye corrector, and if you have dark circles under your eyes or any like discoloration of any sort, I have blue under my eyes and a bit of purple. This just helps combat that. It actually neutralizes the color and sometimes I don't even have to wear concealer on top. It just does the job. But because we are doing makeup for film and being on camera, I'm still going to add concealer after this step just to give it that extra coverage. But for every day, the under eye corrector usually is good for me, especially if I'm not leaving the house. I just place concealer under my eyes, around my nose where there's a bit of redness and of course any other spots that I just want to have just a little more coverage. Now I'm just going to grab my beauty blender. I have the blender in water just so it doesn't soak up and eat my product. You know, that was just a tip I picked up from a makeup artist and I continue to do it till this day. And just blend, blend, blend. Next we're going to put some translucent powder to avoid any creasing and just set the concealer. Some people do their eye makeup first. I kind of do it this way. I don't know if that's right or wrong. This is my process and you'll see, you'll see. It's all gonna come together. Have faith, guys. Now I'm going to do my brows. Brow mascara wand just gives it that extra bit of oomph that I really love. And if there are any patchy areas, I go in with a brush or I just, you know, fill them in. No big deal. And if you see anything that needs to be corrected along the way, go for it. Let's go to the eyeshadow now. I'm actually using a highlighter and bronzer palette for my eyeshadow just to keep it really neutral. So I'd like to put on the base with the light color first, but you're supposed to tap in if you want more pigmented color. Oh, there we go. There we go. See, I know what I'm doing. Another good tip to learn is what your eye shape is. I recently learned that I had hooded eyes, so it does make a difference when you are applying your eyeshadow makeup. So after we've done the light color, then we did the bronzer color along the crease of the eye. Now I'm just going to add one more deeper color just for a touch of pop because I needed to show just a little bit. So I'm just adding it to the crease, very gently patting it in because it is a darker color and I do not want that to fall all under my eyes. Black eyeliner gives a very defined look. So I like to go with brown, it's a lot more natural. And then I just take a makeup brush and I just blend it out to make it look seamless, especially if your hands aren't 100% steady like mine. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna curl those lashes. I hold it for about five to 10 seconds each eye and then I move on. What I really like doing is priming my lashes with the white primer before I add mascara. I've been doing this forever. It's a personal preference. You can skip this step if you want. And I'm just trying out a little sample right now of a new natural one and so far, so good. I have tried out hundreds of different styles of mascara. I was buying designer Dior. The blackout was my number one go-to, but now that I've upgraded most of my skincare, I figure it's better to spend money on serums and concentrated formulas like vitamin C and retinol instead of a mascara. The drugstore ones work just fine. So when I apply mascara, I just hold it close to my lash line. I wiggle, wiggle, and I release upwards. Now I'm going to use a highlighter. I'm not using the shimmery side. I'm going to use a matte highlighter, and I love to put it just under my lash line and then spread it out with my face. Fingers. It just makes the look look so flawless. All right, now I've got the NARS lip liner, but wait, I totally forgot to put the waterproof mascara on. So let's add another coat. Yep, we're looking good, looking good. If there are any mistakes or anything, usually I just use a Q-tip. Of course, I forgot to put it beside me, so I'm not gonna run to the washroom. So we wanna keep the flow going. With your lips, I find it's great to find a color that's 
similar to your natural shade or maybe just a touch brighter to give you that extra pop. Then I'm gonna go in with a very natural lipstick and I'm just gonna pat it in to make it look more natural. And another tip I picked up, to transfer a bit of your lip color onto your cheeks. This way it matches perfectly and your look is set guys. So beautiful. But if you're finding that you're getting too sweaty or you're shining too much, you can use blotting papers or go ahead and apply a bit of powder. Last tip I'm gonna leave you with for the day is to have natural, clean looking nails. Whether you're an actor or even a model, casting directors and casting associates love this natural look. So if you've enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment box below and I'll see you next Tuesday. Ah, you made it till the end. Thank you so much. I will see you next week, same place, same time. Don't forget, because I count on you.